Yo, the title of this video was called, Do You Tolerate Her Bad Behavior? Not alphas. Do this. Now, women at some time, point in time in a relationship, there's going to be a power uh, struggle. If the man's not holding an alpha position, a leadership role in her, in her, in her eyes, in her view, you know, she may have high, uh, you know, a level of attraction can be very high for you. But if you start showing weak behaviors, she's going to start testing you. And how should you do that? The best way to do it is by giving you tolerance and testing your tolerance to see what kind of man you are, where your pressure pipes and what breaks you, okay, as a man. So, and it's so subtle. Oftentimes, guys fall into the fray of giving in to women when it, when it comes to her tolerance, her bad behavior, because they're subtle things, okay? And women do it. They need to do it to find out if they're with the right guy. Okay, um, I want to I want to give him some of this bullshit I got, and see how he takes it. Okay, can he manage my little bit of my little bit of nuances of bullshit? Let's see how he does. So, in the beginning, it's always like uh, she's a nice girl, whatever. They got the best foot forward for the most part, but then the little bullshit starts coming out here and there. The more you show inconsistency, okay, and you know tolerance for her. You know, and we start changing the rules, changing the changing the plans. You know, uh, say you plan on going to a movie. She goes, ah, you know, can we go? I don't want to see that movie. Can we go see this movie instead? It's right over there, right next theater. It's right there. It's the one you got a, a multiplex theater, right? And you decide to go in the theater one for whatever movie it is. Something you go, you guys both agreed on. Okay, so you get to the ticketing counter, and she goes, you know what? That looks good. This what is this right here? I want to go see that now. You know, I'm gonna see that. Let's go see that. It's more interesting. Okay, that's a test. She wants to see if you're gonna comply and say, you know what? I'm sticking the same thing. So let's let's just go in there. She's gonna say, okay. Now, like I said, women have checklists. Women have checklists. Okay. She wants to make sure that you know you're gonna stand up to her like a man. Why? Because it shows your auth authenticity that you're being authentic. You're saying how you really feel. You're not putting the front just to get some ass. Okay? Women want to test, but they only do it when they see weakness or they sense softness in you. Okay? Or you're kind of flaky. Got it? So, now, and she'll do these things. And like I said, guys, when you start, and the guy, you know, the guy wants to, I get it. He, you know, I get it, guys. You want to make, you want, you're a nice guy. You want to just go have a good time. You don't want no drama. You don't want all that shit. You know, I don't either. I get it. I've been there. But she wants drama. She wants to create a little drama to see how you handle it. It's a test. It's a litmus test, guys. All right? She's kicking the tires. That's all she's doing. Once you understand this stuff, you see the bullshit coming. Right? So, now, in this case, guys are failing this left and right, especially beta male providers and just, just, just simps, you know, you know, the guys just fall for it, okay? And they, why? Because they want peace. They don't want to handle it. It's new. I don't want to piss her off. That's the fear of beta male. I don't want to piss her off. I don't want to get her angry, right? Because then she's going to leave and I won't have any ass. She's giving me the time of day. I'm so thankful. Wrong attitude. Because she knows that at the end of the day, she ain't no, she's not stupid. She knows, hey, I'm going to give him all these little challenges and obstacles before he can get to the ass. He's got to earn his way in. Same thing with her, guys. should be no different. Just to earn her way into your kingdom. But right now, I'm talking about the guys that have that low tolerance. I mean, that high tolerance. They don't have low tolerance, but they will in a minute. By the end of this video, I'm going to show you two adults, okay, that they, 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 they work twofold, Okay. And they're great. That's a great way to handle this tolerance bullshit and get it out the way and clear yourself of it. Now, some of the things that we're gonna do to work that tolerance, that that tolerance testing schedule, their little tactics, they'll use a number of things. Number one, they'll probably use uh, they they'll probably use the persuasion. Okay, try to persuade you uh, to 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 change your point of view and move your principles to to do things that they want you to do to to bend. Okay, your rules for them, right? So you say, you know what? I really want to do that. No, that's not really me. Oh, please. Listen, now I'm asking you, please. 
and they give you the, the eyes and they give you the bat and eyelashes. They, they give you the body language. They shake your titties. Oh, please. And all this shit. And the guys fall for it. They say, well, okay. All right, all right, right. In the back of your mind, you show me the titties. I don't want to blow it. Okay? But you're actually blowing it. So, but by giving in to her like that, you show compliance. Okay? And that's weak. Compliance is just you're, you're conforming. You're bending yourself in all kind of ways to make her happy. You're never going to please a woman like this. Women don't want you to do that. But guys do it because they want peace. They don't want to deal with what she has coming on over here in this box. This is the box of drama. They don't want to open that Pandora box. Okay? A real man goes right to it. Got it? Guys shy away. It's a lot to deal with. A lot of guys, number one, a lot of guys are inexperienced with dealing with women with problems and that kind of stuff. All women got problems. All people got problems. The matter is, what, shows, what it shows women is that you'll not handle women problems. You have lack of experience. Okay? That's why older guys, a girl will want an older guy in her reservoir, at, at repertoire somewhere along the line, her 20s, 30s, she's going to want an older guy to see where she is in the pussy world. Am I, do I have pussy power to pull an older guy? I can get the knowledge, gain resources. So there's a lot of reasons why they do this. But the tolerance part is where guys fall hard. They fail quickly on this one, okay? If it ain't, if it's not the compliance, it's sexual. She's going to pull back sexual kind of way. She says, well, you're not going to do that. All right, then. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. So the bullshit, and the guy goes, no, you're not fine. Come on. You're not fine. Don't find me. You're not fine. I'm fine. No, you know. All right. Let's, let's go do it for you. We're going to do that. And you break around. So sexually, she can do it. Or she can throw up a bad attitude because you don't want to do something she wants, to, wants you to do. And she means nothing by that shit. And if she did, so fucking what? You got to stay on your own, too. You got to be a man. What do you stand for? What do you stand for when it comes to who you are? Right? But guys, they, they don't want the problem. So they, they because of the attitude, again, they fold in. So what that shows her is that you don't have the strength to deal with what she's got going on over here. Eventually, at some point in time, as you guys progress. But so far, you fell on the test. Okay? Right now, you're, you're, you're too tolerant. You're a nice guy. You're, fall, you're in a nice guy's zone right now. Of course, when you meet a woman, she's going to say, oh, he's a nice guy. Even a, even a bad guy, a bad boy, she's going to say, oh, there's something nice about, something about him that's good. I'm going to find out what that is. Okay, so you already, most guys, most all guys pretty much, are, are kind of bouncing on the nice guy image. Women are figure like, okay, somewhere there's a nice guy there. There's a, he, he was hurt, or this, or that. or they'll, they'll rationalize a reason why they can talk to you and justify that. That gives them plausible deniability, especially for a guy with a bad attitude. Because the friends will say, what are you talking to that guy for? He's a fucking asshole. Yeah, but you know, I kind of... He, he smiled. He, the way he smiled, that made, they'll make up some bullshit just to do what they got to do, saying the guy is nice or whatever. So when you start doing the, the damn tolerance shit, you become too nice. And you slide on this nice scale. So now you're tolerating her bad attitude. She's crossing her arms and pouting and shit. She'll get what she wants. You give into that. So how are you going to say no to the movie now? How are you going to say no to... She wants, she wants something else. Uh, she wants... um. A bag for her birthday or whatever. You want to get some ass, you'll get a bag. So once you go to that stuff, you start, how you gonna get back and say no? So once you say no, she's got the attitude. Okay, okay, okay. So you see, you don't buy the birthday gift. Okay, 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 okay. So you end up not. It's like a, it's like a slip. It's like a, it's like sliding down quicksand the other way. Because you know, quicksand mountain, you can never get to the top of that mountain. Okay. So don't fall into this bullshit, right? So because what they really want is a challenge. Okay. And here's the antidote. Because then, first of all, if you, before I get to that, if you do all the things they say, and you, they're going to be very resentful because you're not, you're not giving them direction or guidance, you know. They want that. They, don't, they say, oh, I want a guy. I want to be happy, and I want, I, want, I want to be happy. I want to be this, this, and that. But when you make them happy, what happens? They get mad. So, obviously, what they say they want and what they actually respond to are totally different. Right? Let's continue. So, now, the antidote to this is going to be, you have to be able to know what you want, number one, from the gate, before you even meet anybody. Know what you want, who you are, what your goals are, and those are priorities. 
Okay, you never negotiate your priorities for somebody else. Unless it's uh, immediate family, and, and even that, they still got it. They still got to wait. That's number two on your list. Family. Priority is one. Family. You got kids, kids, and then family, and then her. She's always going to be number four on your list. She's always cuatro. Always. She's always cuatro. Okay? If you got kids or whatever. If not, she's got. She's going to be three. It's priorities, family, then there she goes. Okay? So, the antidote is that you should be able to walk away with pride. Okay? Because... If, if it's no, it's no. You don't have to be angry. The strongest point is like, nah, you know, she does. Here's what I do. She, uh, we go somewhere or, or if she's even at the crib and um, say we're making drinks. I usually make, I usually have her make the drinks. I'll do the first one, the first date or whatever. The first drink, the one time, boom, make the drink. Then the next one, I say, okay, your turn. Let's go. I want this and that, another round, boom. Or I'll say another round. She goes, yeah. I said, go get it. Great. I'll be right here. I sit back. I throw my arms on the chair and watch her make it. And always, I just watch her and glance out. And she's, I don't know what I'm doing. Da, 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 da. Then it's fun. You go over there. You get behind her. You show her. One more time. All right. And you play with her. You got close contact. All right. So that's me. But I don't like the drama and shit. Any drama, I say, listen, I'll have that drink, for example. I'll have that drink. Sit down, laugh, choke, boom, boom, boom. The drink is done. She's got to go. She's got to go. Where am I going? What's the matter? I said, nah, you know what? We're not, it's not a really good night right now. I, I think we're not on the same page. I need you to be on the same page. Then we're not, right now, we're not right there yet. So maybe it's, you know, some other time. Simple. I'm not angry. I'm not responding. I'm not reacting. It's just not a good time. I had a good time. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn in now. Doesn't mean I'm going to go to bed. But I ask, she got to go. And she ain't got to go home. She ain't get the hell out of here. <laughs> or vice versa. If she, if, if, if I got said, I asked packing. If I'm at her crib, ah, you know what? It's getting late. I'm going to go and get on out of here. But you're leaving so soon? Yeah, yeah, because you don't need the ass. It shows her, wow, he got everything set up and he did all this, but he's not getting no ass? What's what's wrong with me? Something wrong with me? <laughs> then she's going to do the fucking self check. Then she's going to do the fucking self check. The scratch and sniff. All right? Like, no, everything's good there. I don't know. But now she's baffled because most guys don't walk away. The ass is right there on the table being served to you. And you go, nah, hang on to that. I'm not, I'm not in the right mood now. Now you've got me you got me twisted right now. I'm good. You know, I'll get it. Because now she thinks, oh, he's going to go somewhere else and get it. Got it? So don't be be able to walk away. And that's going to be, you've got to mean that shit. It's got to be who you are. And own it. Own that shit. I'm out. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll get back with you. Yeah, we're going to talk. And I'm out the door. I'm in the car. I'm gone. Or, yo, I'll talk to you next time. Yo, let me get this stuff. Stop putting, stop putting shit away. Bang. Well, put that in the sink for me. Put that in the sink. This too. Boom, boom. Watch that. She washed this shit. I said, all right. And walk up to the door. Let's go. Get your things, you know, whatever. Got your coat? My coat? Yeah, yeah. In your hat. And boom. Here you go. That sets the standard. And you can't break. She gets to the door starts crying. You can't break. I, I've, I've had this. I had this. Recently, but you can't break. I don't care how much you want to be like, no, well, she's crying now, so, oh, you know, I got her to the point. No, no, it's it's not a good time. My time is too valuable. My time with you is too, my time right here for me personally is too valuable. And now I see that you're wasting it now. So we have to, um, re we have to reschedule this because we this, this is ran, this ran its course already. Okay. Whether I hear from her back or not, that's not important. But I know that I stood my ground and it's time. It's time. I'm not gonna get drama. This is a, this is all this positive. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. And that's how you gotta be. All right. So, um, it's a new chat. See people signing on. New people subscribing. Like, subscribe, comment below. Once you hear your family, once your family, I got you. Yo, XL, and I'm out.